promised, I'm going to show you how to line up the streamers so you don't say four letter words. So <laughs> I'm working on a ribbon right now and I need to put the streamers on. So, okay, let me show you. This table, this white table you see, was a game changer for me. It's by glassboardstudio.com and I can uh, leave a link to a coupon for it. They have lots of different sizes. This is the glass craft board with the grid. And what I love most about this table is that it is magnetic. So there are these little pawn magnets. It takes me back to my childhood of the game Sorry. Actually, adulthood. I love board games. So <laughs> these are really fun for me, but they're super duper strong and they hold the ribbon nicely. So what I do is I will sort these out. And set that off to the side. This is a eight streamer ribbon because the top is 12 inches. And sorry if my speech sounds weird. I have these Invisalign braces in and they are making my speech a little weird. So apologize for that. Okay, I've got my two sides and you can see I sort of prepped them a little bit. These are not exact, but they're kind of exact. And then I will just lay them. I always do, I'm right-handed, so I do a lot of right to left. It doesn't matter really, you can do the left or the right. I like to start with the outside streamers and then layer them on top with going in so that it makes it really pretty. I think that if you do the opposite, if you put this one on the outside, it, it just looks a little bit sloppy. I like it to be nice and neat and pretty and symmetrical. So layer them on top like that. So once I have them set, I will put the top over the bottom or right over left because I'm right-handed. But maybe if you're left-handed, it's easier the other way. I honestly don't think it matters. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of smush these at the top and then I'll leave the bottom basically barely touching on a big rosette. On the three streamer rosette, I leave about well, one square inch. So this glass board is gridded by inches and then the inches, the inch squares are separated into quarter inch. So what I like to do, and I drew, I took a Sharpie and I drew this to let you see it a little bit better where I'm lining things up because I think these grid lines might be harder to see on this video. And that's the other nice thing about this table. You can take a Sharpie and you can just write on it and it will wipe right off with some rubbing alcohol, just a little spritz and a towel, wipe it off. It's fantastic. I, I love this table. If I haven't made that clear enough, I love my table. It was game changing. After I get this on, I'm gonna show you what you can do if you don't have a table because I didn't always have this table and I'll show you my little secret tip that I used for lining these streamers up. But. Don't worry, if you are saying four letter words and you are frustrated and you can't get them straight or looking nice or pretty, don't worry. I'll show you the tips and tricks and then they will be fantastic. Okay, so I've got the outside streamers and now I'm gonna put the center one in. I always do the center last. I don't know why, I just do. I think it's easier to go outside to end. And because this middle piece is wider, than two inches. So I marked off a two inch, which is where my center is going to go. But you can see I've got one square on each side that is sticking out. So I just take a magnet and I hold that center down and I make sure it's lined up on both ends. And this says 1715. So on the other side, it also says 1715. And that's nice and straight. And then what I do, because this is a 12 inch top, I'm going to do two squares or half inch. Oh, actually it's more, yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit half in. So then I'll stick the magnet just to hold my place. I'll line this one up, stick a magnet where it's gonna line up right with this next inch mark. So right there and I'll just put those there. That way this is not gonna move. And then I can get this side in position and put that outside right on that edge, inch mark. All right, so then I can look here. So now you can see these streamers are lined up pretty even. This guy's 
slid out a little. And then I just take these off carefully, put them out of the way. All right, then all I do is I just put some glue across there and I do the shake. So we talk about spider webs sometimes. You do it like a shake, it eliminates that. I don't know why, it just does. And you can see this point is my center. So all I do is I go by the center of this, this line, the center of the ribbon, and I just put that there and make sure the hook is straight, the button's straight, everything's straight. I look at the outside, line it up, might need twist a little bit, and I just give it a little push, and then we're nice and straight. And then when I put the back on, all I do is flip this top over. I will put the glue on, line this up, and put the back on. And it looks really, really pretty, really nice, and you're all done. That is the trick to doing the streamers. Now, I told you I would tell you my trick before I had the table. And here's the trick from scrapbooking days. Washi tape. This tape is almost like painter's tape, but it's marked with a ruler, and this one is the same grid as the table. So, as we I don't have the table, I don't have the magnets, I just have my dining room table. True story, worked off my dining room table for a year and a half. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. So it's very possible. And same thing, you can draw on this tape, so I could take my Sharpie and say, these are quarter inch, so I can mark here. And I haven't drawn on my table, right? I've only drawn on the tape, the washi tape. So you would line your center up to your markings. Scoot this in where you want it. I like to do two which is a half inch. You can choose whatever you want. I like to do that. Again, outside in, I'm all lined up. I will put glue and put the top on. I actually do one more step after that. So I get the top set and then I'll go to the end and I will make sure they're evenly spaced out. I don't spread them apart too much on the bigger tops, but on the smaller ones, I leave a quarter inch between the points and that just makes a really nice layout for the streamers. Now, if you want to add little side accent tabs i do it the same way i use the grids and the magnets so i can cut off a piece and you can see this piece is end of the roll so it's kind of flimsy but it's okay it straightens back out i just cut and a little refresher on how to cut the dovetails just take your ribbon fold it in corners and cut and i actually maybe i was a hairdresser in a former life i don't know but i realized I use my finger as a guide for the scissors when I'm cutting these angles. So I actually am holding it at an angle, the corners together, and then my scissors just hit my finger and I can just cut these points. Like you would be cutting hair. Well, how they cut hair. I've never actually cut hair. I don't think I should try that because <laughs> it would be a disaster. So mad props to those of you that can cut hair because I cut my sister's hair one time when she was in second grade. My mom was out of town and I had to do her hair for school picture day. <laughs> when the school pictures came back, <laughs> needless to say, she had a retake. <laughs> so same thing, you can use your grid. And if you need more squares, if you have giant streamers and you need more squares, then the cool part about this is you just cut off more tape and add it on. And the other tape, this kit comes with several. I'll put a link in the chat and you can get some. This is inches, there's also centimeters, and then the wider one has both. Sometimes I make up my own. Sometimes I think, oh, that would look better if it was just a little bit apart, and I just make up my own measurements. As long as it's the same on both sides, it doesn't matter. No one's gonna be at your event with a ruler saying, oh, well, that streamer is half an inch. And on this rosette, those streamers are one inch. Like, no one's doing that. If it looks pretty and it's symmetrical, no one's doing that, so don't worry. And if they are doing it, maybe <laughs> there's bigger things to worry about. And then just 
line it up, same thing. Put the glue on, put the top on, and you're all done.